Hello, Rotten here. Welcome back to another video of Heroes and Generals. I'm back and I didn't know what to record so about this game. So I kind of decided I'm going to do something I already probably made a video of two times already or more. So let me just refresh your memory. So I am playing still American Faction right now. So I decided I'm going to get an RPG here on American side because I'm, I'm annoyed of they having a lot of tanks and I don't have anything to deal with them instead, instead of tanks. And tanks, American tanks are not that great. They're good. Not that great. You, you won't go American side to play tanks. You just won't because they have literally the worst of the worst of every faction. But they have some good stuff here and there. So yeah. So, <clears throat> I was super annoyed, so I decided I'm gonna farm a little bit, I played a few games to get some money, and to get an RPG so I can start off with. So, I will show you all the ways that I think it's easiest to level up to get the, your main RPG, because this RPG is good and all, but you need a main RPG. So, uh, this one is decent, but you can have better. So. And that one will actually help you do other things that are not recommended to, to do from, from my perspective. But yeah. So, Americans have a really good RPG. A really, really good one. So, if I go to Ribbons right now, um, his American main RPG would be, let me see, Medical Recon, uh, Explosive Tank Destroyer. Let's see, I think it's this one. Yes. So... First, it's some here and there. They have the worst grenade. The worst of the worst. So, I won't recommend using it. Use it if you want, but it does the least amount of damage possible. It's really hard to hit. So, there it's pretty bad. So, this RPG is really good. It has long range, has decent reload speed it's really good and it shoots very fast so you can even shoot planes down but i don't recommend it because it's expensive to shoot this thing so um th these two things i don't recommend getting because they're expensive and even more to refill so um ptr i can get a ptrd you know that's you don't have to even steal it interesting this wasn't a thing, but I don't recommend it. No, I do recommend it because American side doesn't have anything like this type of gun. So that's interesting. Okay, so I don't recommend get. Oh, they have even better one here. I totally forgot about this one. Oh, so this is gonna be a long grind, guys. It's gonna be a long grind because already this RPG is really good. But this one is also really good. I don't know what's the difference between these two. I just know this one has a long, long range. And this one I forgot. I did use it once before, but I don't remember. So, and this one is not recommended to get. Don't get any other factions RPG because they're just even more expensive. And they're this one is basically the, the one that I have at the moment. No, actually, no. It's basically this one. But worse. But worse. You see less, it shoots shorter. So it's basically the one that I have right now. I don't know what the difference is. But yeah, it just feels the same as this RPG. I don't know if it has more damage or not. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Because RPGs are very expensive to use. But they're really good. So let me just see. So this one does 100, goes to like 100 meters, shoots very fast. Uh, like, the boot, the rocket goes really fast, it goes like 120, 110 maybe, range to do a lot of damage, 100 would be like the most amount of damage, 100%, what about this one? This one has s shorter range, it still does 100 damage, so I don't know what the difference is. And the tank weapon, yes, why is it green? Was it always like this, or that's new? I never saw that. It's just like a different shade of gray green. Green gray. So I yeah. am. Or I'm color colorblind. I'm not sure. Probably not colorblind, but oh well. So this one is much better than the other one, but I don't know. Um reload time 3.4 1 RPM. What is this one? 5.4 1 So 
it has the same damage because it's 100 percent less range longer time to reload than this one this one is cheaper shoots reloads faster and has a longer range and has the same damage i don't know i'm gonna have to google it so yeah enough about that if you're gonna go for rpgs to get rpgs i recommend you to have a pistol at least a pistol the first pistol will do um i don't recommend like uh, if you already have a pistol, I recommend to just put it into depot, put it on this character, because you don't want to waste too much money. And already you need to save money for some other things. But the best way to do it, put as much ammo as possible on the RPG. Have only like one clip in the main gun, if you don't want to spend any money. And for the badge, you will have to get um, Iron Fist right here. You will have to get it. To get this, you need to drive people around. And it's super hard to get this one. But it's very easy to get if you have a friend. So get a friend, because it's going to save you a lot of money if you do this first. This thing first. And it's super easy. Just recommending um, get a veteran membership. Put a boost on for this badge. And get get the first, first vehicle. You will need this vehicle. I don't have the money to buy it yet, because I wasted on on my rpg so i can start at least a little bit of farming but vehicles will be very necessary and also put like a ammo refill on it so you can reload your rpg and shoot it more so yeah but also you can also uh, can you put two things on the car i don't know i think you know i think it's just on a respawning vehicle right here so yeah, that's all you're gonna need. You're gonna need a vehicle, you're gonna need an RPG, of course, and you're, I would recommend you to max that badge out so you can Iron Fist, so you can do as much damage with as lowest shots as possible because every shot is, I think, like around 200 money. And if you don't kill a tank while attacking it, you basically lost all of your money because you need to destroy the tank. So, that's gonna help you do more damage so yeah you will need that so if anybody there wants me wants to help me grind for that batch i would really appreciate it because that does go a long and i mean a long way let me tell you a long way but yeah but probably i'm gonna have to make another rpg guy so that's gonna be a pain in the ass because they both have different things probably they're good at Maybe it has more penetration. I'm not sure. So, yeah. Because on the Russian side, if I go here, I have two RPGers. Uh, one of them. No, actually only one because they don't have two RPGs. So if I go here, where is it? Tank Destroyer. Right here. Russians start with a RPG, like normally. Um, and they get also this thing very early on this one is really good i think the german one is the strongest this is one is a decent one uh then they have the ptrd that's not good for anti-tanking then they'll skip and then this gun is really 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 good for anti-tanking because it does a lot of damage it doesn't have much penetration but it has a lot of damage plus if you get I think this ha has the most amount of damage. Reload time is super slow, but it's really good. But for this PTRS that I have on this character, um, it's decent at killing light level tanks, medium tanks, but nothing else. You can go for heavy tanks, but you're gonna get sniped or killed immediately because people protect their tanks. For the German side, um, I have an anti-tanker somewhere here. The, the main character is my anti-tanker right here. Um, I didn't really farm for the this. I just have the last RPG, tank destroyer. Because back in the day, uh, this RPG, right? I don't even own it. I already own it. I don't even have it here because this one was basically the first RPG. So I don't know why it went for the last one. But yeah. What, what else do we have here for German side? Germany has a really good anti-tank weapon. That's this thing. Super, super deadly. Back in the day, it was even more. And then they have this thing that I already have. 
really nice, but not that great. That's BTRS. And then this one, the strongest anti-tanker weapon you can get. And that's basically it. And the mines, but they're usually not useful unless if you don't care about money. But I'm gonna have to farm some money. So that's all I know. So they really have just two RPGs. The first one and the, this one that I already have. By luck. Where is it? This one. This one was the worst RPG in the game because it was super slow. Didn't do much damage. I did buy it on one of my characters. I don't know which one. And I regret it. <laughs> but now I think they buffed it, so it's decent now. It's like the first RPG. I don't know what's the difference between this one and the rest, but yeah. So, let's just begin. That's enough talking. Um, let's go back to my RPG guy. It's this one. So, let's begin. I recommend to go into... Um, it's basically capture and hold all, all of them. I don't know where, where is it? Because that's how you're going to get the most kills. So if I go, let's see, capture and hold group cl group classes. Um, so capture and hold infantry versus infantry. So this, this is what you're going to look for. This matches, I believe. Yes, because this is going to be the easiest way to get a game. So ground classes like here, it says. That's basically gonna t tell you there are gonna be tanks in the game, and people really like to go tanks. It's sometimes it's really annoying to do this badge. I will recommend you to get a veteran membership uh, for free, just playing seven days in a row will get you, and then put a XP boost for this. But please have a, at least a silver and um, iron fist because that's gonna help you a lot. This is just a video to tell you how to do it the easiest way possible. I think this is at least the easiest way because there are going to be a lot of light level tanks. Sometimes they're going to be heavy, but most of them are going to be light level. I do recommend you to have vehicle to drive people around. You can have a respawning vehicle. It's not necessary at all, but you can have to get some money while you grind for this. I don't have that much ammo, so I need to save up. It looks like this was already started match. Oh no, they just rushed hardcore in the point so this match doesn't have tankers it seems so I got a really bad matchup but I'm gonna leave so you can actually see what the match is like sorry game but you're gonna have to get a different match for me so let's just leave and see when I find the match okay and we finally found the match it has tanks light little tanks no medium tanks light little tanks and tank destroyers those are this is a perfect match it looks like my team is already pushing, so I can maybe go even anti-tanking already. So, I do recommend to try to capture as many points and get like those free RPG shots if you don't have anything but the first RPG. Because that's gonna save you some money. And try to steal tank kills as, po as much as possible. It looks like it's a bad pinks game. It really is. Oh my god, you, you already saw it. 300 ping but it's fine because anti-tanking will is not that hard to hit but yeah so try to capture points if you can because that's gonna make tankers annoyed and as long as you don't get sniped like this guy's trying to kill me help me guys mate there's a sniper looking at me Thank you, but what if because people will use and armored vehicles so you can get easy tank kills to let them don't shoot vehicles don't shoot armor vehicles because they're not gonna help you that's my teammate but if you see tanks shoot the tanks instead that was our tank sorry mate only have two shots I really just have two shots. I'm not supposed to kill people, I'm supposed to kill tanks, so my st the strategy is always to flank, try to get where they, they will not see you, the pe people, and then go close enough to shoot it into the weak spots, and try to steal, steal from your 
people like that I, basically they lower the health so i can one shot it and that's perfectly fine for me i don't have any xp boost because i really want to just grind before the driving but yeah um I, it's 300 ping so i'm not even gonna try to fight people that much because i won't hit them and even he had a hard time because look at the server one two three four five six seven eight people out of 17 plus 16 equals 30 people let's say plus 30 plus people wow thanks thanks game uh at least there's more than like let's say two or zero people that have good ping at least at least at least it's decently reasonable so yeah so vehicles would be really helpful to get and flank tankers and also try not be shot by other people because you don't have a fighting chance no you do you have eight bullets you can also get their v weapon be before you see a tank and go for the tanks but because i have 300 ping because i've un got unlucky and get this match yeah i don't really have a choice to fight i just need to hide and just anti-tank there's a tank right there if i see so correctly there's also a tank here there so um higher level tanks that you kill oh my god that's a lot of tanks i'm gonna stop moving don't they didn't see me good bots i don't really care about bots that much and tr if you kill a medium tank like this one right here it's gonna give you a lot and i mean a lot of more xp higher level tanks which kill the more you get but also you need to kill them and you need to be careful because people like to group up so it's always just better to just get with a vehicle there i am unlucky i don't have a vehicle so i need to walk so i wouldn't get that much because i didn't kill him i i lost 400 money i think because i only did two shots um when you get the secondary rpg it's gonna be a lot easier to kill because it's, it has a lot lo longer range but also it needs to be at least a hundred range from you because doesn't if you don't uh, you do a lot less damage to the tanks and basically you waste money so it's usually better just to close range shoot them because you will do more damage and if you know weak spots that's even better i was shooting it in the middle to try to get his ammunition because that's the weak spot of the tiger and my keyboard changed to american i was hoping i could hide from him because i cannot beat him and my keyboard changed to american keyboard for some goddamn reason so yeah let's continue uh, so it's really hard if you don't have a vehicle as you can see I'm, it's really hard for me to get into back lines because tanks will shoot from far away because they don't care about the range no they do care but they don't have to care that much because it's a straight shot basically most of the time and numbers and teamwork is key so yeah I only killed one tank I should kill one more tankers will kill a lot more tankers of course so, so just try to steal tanks if you can because that's gonna save you money and i think maybe they i cannot hit him i cannot i don't have ammo anymore thanks but he has had ammo so i'm gonna take his gun if i can find his body i lost his body so always keep your first weapon in front so people don't think that you have an rpg and they won't focus you as much they would think oh that's a normal infantry pushing like a dumbass but in reality i'm an rpg here but also if you have a pistol it's pretty obvious you have an rpg so yeah and try to also get as assists because if you get an assist um it's gonna be decent the amount of money so that's another tank that i sniped from far away because i he was pushing way too much so also try to stay hidden if, if you can but it's kind of hard so yeah 
Just need to flank. Is the tank still back there? One of them is. That one is right there. So it's also good to mark them. So people will start shooting them. And usually I don't recommend go heavy armored tanks. That's the last level tanks. Like Tiger or Tiger King or the other type of tanks that are that level. That guy didn't see me. That's good. I'm gonna kill the back lines first because people usually don't see. I'm back here. There's two tanks right here shooting from really far away. That's a tank right there. I don't move, they won't see me. That's a lot of tanks back here. You can also try to shoot people from the tanks. Just gonna move. I think he saw me. I'm just gonna I know, okay. So if there are that many tanks back there, usually it's not worth fighting them. So you just go for the ones that are solo. Because those are, are way easier. And he saw me through a bush somehow. Through a bush. He saw me. Great. Wish we had some vehicles around here. That would be nice. I could put it on myself. So I can walk there easier. But now I need to walk three, uh, mi five, 500 miles. And not like the song says. We're gonna win it seems. Because they're just shooting from afar with tanks. We don't have a chance. Of pushing, because you can see that shot, they're looking. And usually they have explosive rounds, so they can very easily just shoot you from far away. It looks like we did have a vehicle there. They just found it. So yeah. So I'm going to try to f push from here, because there is a tank right there in front. And as long as I'm, like, hidden from the other tanks, they won't notice. And if they're not... Uh, uh, in a call, the whole team. So bots, don't worry about bots. Bots are bots. But be careful, because bots will be able to kill you. Okay, now he's searching for me. So I need to kill the tank. From an invisible position. Destroyed. Okay, the tank was destroyed. So now I can just walk away. And look at that guy. That's an infantry. That's a person. That's a person. So I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna reload now. I have only three shots. It's good to have like a ammo or the grenades. Grenades are also really good because they're very easy to use. They don't do that much damage if you don't shoot the weak spot. They're pretty decent. So we got one ta another tank down, three tanks down. Didn't get that much sc score. But yeah, if you don't kill the tank, you're basically gonna lose a lot of money. But also if you shoot a heavy tank, it's really hard to destroy them if you don't shoot the weak spots. And you will lose money. Even though you kill them, you can make we can barely get like all the money back, but yeah. Oh, I missed that. So if we go a little closer, just remember the range of your RPG. And we lost all that. Four tanks, mine. So we're gonna win it seems, cause they're really not defending well. And we got four tanks, so I think that's pretty good. With 300 ping, I only have 400 score. Um, tank killing is really expensive. It gives you decent XP if you get a lot of tank kills. So, I recommend try to kill as many tanks as possible, but try to kill them, not just damage them, because, yeah. Unless if you get an assist. That's, that's pretty decent, at least. But killing is way better, so we got probably decent amount of XP, but if I had like an XP boost and um, a veteran membership, I would get even more. So, for this match, my game crashed. My game did crash. So that's great and fun. So see you when I restart the game. Okay, and the game loaded again. So we got only around 3k, it's not that much, because I didn't kill that many tanks. And we're probably gonna lose. If I had a veteran membership, I've got more credits, so 
that's even a bonus and also let's see anti-tanking so we only got one level and a half so yeah we lost 2k and i got 3k and a half so we got money but not that much money and also got some xp for getting like these things so yeah i still recommend you so we almost got a thousand score almost for just four tanks if i were to kill five tanks i would get two thousand of the, the things so usually you can get a lot of kills especially if you have a higher higher thingy here and that's an uh, anti um, iron fist it's gonna help you a lot and yeah so hopefully this explained to you how to farm for rpgs because they're really useful and people will be annoyed so if if you're a tanker and you watch this video um help a brother out and go the lightest level tanks because they're cheap as fuck and just let them kill you with rpgs especially if they have like the first rpg or the second one because you're gonna help them a lot so yeah but also you're gonna rage so yeah that's also a thing so if if you're gonna go into the to this game to kill just anti-tankers then i feel so sorry for what who hurt you in your life but that's fucked up if you do that so yeah Hopefully this helped you some in somewhat, so I'm gonna probably still have to farm with a normal guy So I can get at least the a vehicle because that's gonna help me a lot So if anybody wants to help me farm for this, I would really appreciate it Contact me and that would be really nice, but that's gonna be it. Hopefully they enjoy um, servers still really bad and FPS I think There's something in the game that makes the FPS go real low for no apparent reason because i played a few matches before and that doesn't show anymore because my game crashed um and i had like around 100 to 70 fps and then in the late game i had to 30 to 40 to 50 fps so there's something in the game or it's just the amount of things that are in the game that makes the fps drop hopefully that helps you read all, some information so yeah hopefully enjoy give it a like dislike comment down below and see you in the next video bye